Hello. Sage, can you hear me now? I think it's working. I think I just need to get the, the game up on this one. I haven't streamed on this channel for quite some time. Add source. That should work. Let's get rid of the music there. All right, I think I see the audio working. Let me know how it is, Sage, if it's uh, too quiet, too loud, or a mix of both. And let's uh, see desktop audio. It seems to be working. Good, good. And we'll throw up a, yeah, a little bit of music going on there. All right, so we are going to do an anomaly playthrough. Uh, I'm going in semi-blind. I haven't gotten uh, too much done for playing yet. I have played a little bit, but uh, I don't really know how most of the nuances are going to work out. Um, and I originally did have kind of a way I was going to set it up uh, to go through, but right now I think I'm just going to play it by ear. What's the anomaly start? Your research expedition has finally arrived at the source of the anomalous site, an ancient architect monolith on a distant planet. As you survey the structure from orbit, the scanner's audio feed forms garbled syllables which repeat your own name over and over. Your crewmate screams as her flesh begins flowing and reforming. A blinding beam of energy reaches up from the planet and tears her research vessel apart. You have disturbed something ancient and inhuman. Note, this is a difficult scenario, not recommended for new players. Yeah, th this one kind of looks interesting. You also get a ghoul, two researchers, and a ghoul. That sounds about right. Let's do that. In just one second here, I'm just going to confirm something before we keep going. I want to make sure everything's set up right so I don't need to fuss about with, with it later. In just one second here. Perfect. All right. It all looks good. Let's do a Randy Random. Obviously, losing is fun. And we'll do Commitment Mode. Throw a randomize up here and generate. Now, the smart plan here would be to pick a nice temperate forest tile, something that's nice and easy, maybe an all year growing zone. But we're going to hit select random site about mm, 20 times and see where we land. Um, what do we get? A polluted temperate forest. Well, that's uh, that's kind of it. And uh, let's uh, let's mix this playthrough up. Let's do a small map just to keep things interesting. The tile is polluted. There will be acidic smog every 44 days. This isn't a great idea. Of course we would love to. Now we do need to make our own ideology, of course. So let's uh, let's create something. Let's go with uh, Hindu origin. And let's pick three. Ooh, what's this? Inhuman. Humanity is a barrier to our connection with the machine god and its pleasurable rewards. All right. Cannibalism's accepted. Don't care about corpses. Nutrient paste is cool. Is anything bad here? Physical love is good. Males, no clothes. Females, no rules. Oh, no rules. All right. Well, there we go. That makes a bit more sense. Organ use is good. And they are going to be highly bigoted. Yeah, that, that sounds fine to me. That's it. It's not that much of a downside. What else we got? Pain is virtue. That could be an interesting one. Um, I don't want to absolutely tank the run for no reason. So we're not going to make it too bad. We'll grab up Supremacist as well. It's a lovely one. And uh, what's Ritualist? Um, rituals, understand, harness the powers, psychic rituals, exalted, void study, very efficient. Normal research is slow. Sure, why not? 
I don't think we're gonna last too long, but you never know, right? Uh, let's uh, make something interesting here. The Dark Army, that's a bit edgy. Dark Legion, super Indu though. I kind of like that. The Supreme Legion, hmm. Army of Shiva, yeah, that hits. All right, we are going to be the Army of Shiva. Oh, I should probably take a look at what um, our precepts are. Research is incredibly slow. We like having slaves inhumanize. What's this one? Human morality and feeling are destruction. Mental breaks will cause followers to become inhumanized. I, I don't know what that one is, but that's going to be interesting. We like to do our rituals. Execution is required. Oh, so we need to execute people. Void studies good. Cannibalism's fine. Blindness. Corpses. Uh, only mildly bigoted. That's uh, not bad. Nutrient pace is good. We'll definitely do that. Free love and the rest here is pretty standard. So what we got? We got a melee specialist, a moral guide, a shooter, and a leader. And this all looks pretty good. Um, I don't like that. Well, it's only going to be a robe there he has to wear. Sometimes the required clothing is pretty bad. In this case, it's not too awful. Like, you don't want to have your melee specialist require a burqa. Uh, cause it will greatly affect how uh, useful they are in melee. Uh, so let's go ahead with the army of Shiva. Now, since we have a ghoul, I'm assuming that's a melee pawn only. So learning probably doesn't matter. What do you, what can you even get here? Sage asks favorite animals. Um, I don't know. Um, in RimWorld? Horse is pretty good. Uh, if we're talking about efficiency, uh, clearly the rat is the most efficient pawn in the game. Um, why is there a shooting skill? Do they have... They can't carry guns, right? Does it even matter what these traits are? I don't know. Oh, what's this? A flesh whip. That sounds pretty cool. We'll do that one. All right, so we need someone that's useful right out the gate here. We need construction pretty badly. Now, construction, nothing works. So let's just roll here a little bit. Wow, that's a pretty good pun. Um, pyromaniac, the Molotovs and chem field to start. That is a no. Definitely a no. This person's pregnant in the first trimester. That's probably not going to end well. Um, yeah, no, no, don't do it, Tyler. Oh, favorite animals in the ideology. Yeah, I could have added some. That's a good point there, Sage. Um, this person's pretty decent. They don't fight, which uh, is pretty bad. If you're going to be in the army of Shiva, you do need to fight. But fast learners, top notch. Um, they're not going to be able to do intellectual in the downtime. This essentially would be an all right pawn, but then I need someone that's really good with combat and intellectual to kind of uh, match it up. I wouldn't mind someone with social as well if I want to convert people, but... Oh my god, wait, this is this is pretty good. This is really good. Alright, screw this guy. Let's uh let's swap this up. Find some intellectual. Uh pyromaniac, no thanks. Always a bit of a pain here. Lots of pyromaniacs. Well, I think the game is telling me that I need to play with some pyromaniacs, so we're gonna just stick with it. Uh that's intellectual. I'm fine with one flame, not the worst, and uh melee is pretty good here. Howdy Merchant. Alright, so we need to choose some names here. Um, let's go. We'll name the, the gentleman here, Sage. Since you're in the chat. Um, Nexus was the first one in there, so we'll do Nexus as the second. And then uh, Tank. I kind of like Tank, so let's stick with that. Alright, uh, I don't know if I picked up some with Medical. That might be an issue, but uh, we'll figure it out. The ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or harness its inhumane power. Alright, pretty simple. I haven't played this start before. Um, so we're going to have to see how it goes. And also everything's polluted, which um, is not ideal, but that, that's fine. 
let's see if we can uh, figure out where that monolith is to start. Uh, there's the mechanoid ship. And where are you? I might be blind, but I currently do not see the monolith any. Oh, there it is. I am blind. Wow, right beside it. Convenient. All right. Well, uh, that's a sign. Uh, the pollution's not great here at all, but we will uh, just start building, I guess. So let's see what we started with. We had 800 steel and some wood. So let's get to it. I'll probably start with just a simple area around it and then build up from there. Now I'm curious what the ghoul can do. Um, I don't know if anyone's played yet, but I don't know if it looks like he's disabled of all work. Can you control them? All right, you can control them. So they're essentially just uh, a pawn to fight with. Proximity detector. What the heck? Holding platform. Oh, this is where you capture um, entities. All right. So I think someone told me that day one is not a good day to activate the uh, the cube, but I disagree. Only way we're going to find out about the new content is by uh, diving right into it. And these are uh, some skulls right here too, actually. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Sage thinks she can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on his dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Sage focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens, the shapes begun to flow in Sage's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in her mind. Alright, I think that's just a warning message, essentially saying this might be a bad idea, but... Uh, it's not. It's not a bad idea at all. Ghouls are used for eating leftovers. Oh, that's cool. I like the animation. Uh, very true, very true. All right, looks like some spooky stuff and we unlocked all of the research. So it should be right here. Perfect. And ritual spot, that sounds right up our alley. Let's uh, focus on that. Now, which one is good at researching? Makes this nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sage, I did you dirty. I thought it was a guy, all right, in my defense. But we did, in fact, name you after, or name a woman after you. But um, you know what? It's, it's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing to be ashamed of. It just, uh, just happens to be this playthrough. So let's put up the proximity detector. Um, this will... Detect inv invisible creatures. I like the sound of that. I would like to detect those. And we'll get the uh, the holding platform up. And, uh, ooh, it's a book. What's the book do? Mental break chance goes up. And void provocation goes up as well. Well, could be worse, could be worse. <laughs> I know she... <laughs> Look... Honest mistake, guys, all right? <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, what the hell is a turret pack? Wearable pack allows a user to deploy a battery-powered turret. What? That's kind of cool. I don't remember reading about this one. Can I put it on a ghoul? I can't. Well, that's a real shame. Looks like we got a shotgun and a knife. And uh, twisted meat. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Now, I don't think we have anyone that's good at plant cutting, unfortunately. So this is going to be really painful to clear these out. And this pollution actually uh, is not great. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to slowly dig into this ancient danger here as well. So, A Pollux tree has sprouted. Um, it's... Oh, it absorbs pollution. Right, 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 right. I remember those. I don't play on polluted tiles often. 
So I don't see these much, but these things are apparently really useful. Now, we might have an issue here. Do we have pollution pumps? Oh, we do. Oh, thank God. You know what? This actually isn't that bad. Maybe we just start pumping the, the pollution out. This is going to be uh, significantly more difficult because we're playing on a polluted tile. Um, why I did that? Well, I didn't really. I kind of just let it up to Randy, so he decided that this was the playthrough. So it's not fully my fault, but it kind of is. Does Tank just stand there? Do the ghouls just uh, look at a wall? Do they do anything? Seems like they like the twisted meat, but aside from that, not much. It's kind of interesting. I guess I don't need a third bed if it doesn't sleep. Just kind of walks around. Let's, um... Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, it's just saying Ancient Danger Camp. And Sage is already very unhappy. Human shame. I'm ashamed of my humanity. I want to embrace the void, but I fear it. Caused by belief in army of Shiva. Inhumanizing required. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um. Alright. Anyone know how human shame works? What did I just do to this playthrough? Is it already ruined? <laughs> Yeah, I can put pollution near the tree. That's a good point. Um, I'm not sure if I've already doomed my playthrough here, but I, I guess we'll find out. Oh, you can make bioferrite horseshoe pin. Interesting. Let's have a tank destroy. Oh, he destroyed the corner wall. What do you think the worst that's inside here could be? Probably nothing too bad, right? Mutate your flesh. How do you mutate your flesh? There you go. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh Jesus Christ. Tank, no! How do I get this turret down? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be a restart already. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not like this. <laughs> oh, God. You can kite it out. Sight Stealer Revealed. Whoa, no! Why? <laughs> I don't think I can kite all of this at once. I think the Sight Stealer is the quickest. I need to get a pop here. Oh, beautiful shot. Maybe I can get it. Run! Run, Nexus! Oh. Alright, well. Um... The run is still salvageable. <laughs> it's, it's not over yet, boys. Alright. This is just the beginning. Oh, this is just sad to watch. Is there any hope here? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, I think we learned some valuable lessons for the next playthrough, though. So, ancient dangers are an extra class of dangerous now. That's good to know. Ooh, a Zeus hammer. That would have been nice. Oh, tank's up. Alright, you got this tank. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it's, uh, we're just gonna pretend that one didn't happen. Round two. Hi guys, uh, it's my first playthrough of the Anomaly <laughs> Expansion. <laughs> let's, um, let's give that another go here. Let's do something a bit more, uh, viable, maybe. Yeah, I agree, Merchant. I don't think Randy was very happy with that one. 
We're doing a mechanator this time. Let's uh, random tile. Uh, see, that looks much better. Let's create a... You know what? We could just choose an ideology here too, you know. Um, maybe these are meant void followers. Does anyone know how I grow tentacles? I'd be really curious to find that one out. I do want to stay with the theme, so let's uh, go avoid followers and maybe the, um, <laughs> why do I have an IUD? Maybe the robots will make the difference this one. Uh, this is pretty good. Mining is good. Uh, we do want intellectual though, because he is going to be our only one. Uh, no fighting, but that's fine. I think our robots will do it for us. Right, right. But merchant, how do you mutate? Oh, I started right by an ancient danger. This could be a uh, an easy, <laughs> easy round too. All right, let's find a steel vein. Here's a decent one. Where is our monolith? That's our biggest question, actually. Where are you? It's kind of hard to spot it, honestly, in these big maps. I wonder if they can spawn inside a structure. Hmm. There it is. Perfect. All right. Let's get at it. Um, I think I have decent construction, so... Oh, there's a steel vein right there, too. Ancient danger. Yeah, I learned. I learned. I won't go for that again. Man, first playthrough. Exciting. Last one did not happen. We're going to just pretend that was um, <laughs> not me. I think we got a bookcase, and let's just get a basic area going here. So construction's crap, but that's fine. Constructoid should do that. Um, oh, interesting. It looks like I don't have an agri hand right now. So that's actually going to be first thing here. Get an agri hand out. So do a gestator. Let's get a recharger down. And no pollution this one. So I'm not going to wait very long. I'm going to start the monolith pretty much as soon as I stabilize a little bit. It looks like the uh, invisible boogeymen come after you pretty quick. So we'll probably just get some walls up and then start the unfolding of events. I do have the uh, ritualistic background. Interesting enough though, he's not unhappy this time. So where's the human one? Because they get upset if you don't, uh, if you don't grow a tentacle, it sounds like. Oh, a slate bed. All right. Scrap that. Um, we need a different type of bed. Or a slab bed, I should say. Hey, Raptor. You have to restart your playthrough? We, uh, we just had to restart this one, too. So, uh, all good. It happens. What was the uh, thing that killed you then? Was it the tier 2 uh, creatures you're talking about? Why am I just sleeping right now? It only starts when you start the rock. Yeah, but that's kind of fun, isn't it? Like, I know it's not optimal, but RimWorld's not a game, in my opinion, that's meant to be played optimally. You chose the new start. Oh, so you just had some new guys come and um, settle in? Or do you mean your playthrough was the new one? I'm curious, for anyone that's played, how long are you leaving the monolith for? I'm going for it pretty much immediately, but that's probably not the right call. Although, don't you get some perks for doing it too, um, based on your religion? So since my guy has a ritualist, he likely wants to start doing rituals ASAP. And I think you need to start a monolith to start rituals. 
Man, these constructoids are slow. Let's uh, just get this guy on like hauling. Oh, that was cleaning. Whoops. There we go. No empty spot. Right. That explains a lot of that. All right, let's see what these guys have. You never bought the DLC. You scared to play 1.5 because you don't want to lose your mods or you don't like people that are crawling on the ground. Which one? Men of Blood Serum. Um, injected. Fuses. Make the user more resistant to damage. Hmm. Also makes them vulnerable to fire. That's a, that's pretty useful. Could also pick up some goats. Not really interested in the goats archite capsule. Can't use any of these. Soothe Pulsar, eh. Um, I could try to put a mind screw in my guy. That's an interesting thought. Or I could just buy a tube television. Let's uh, let's get the tube television. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> Was that the best use of my money? Likely not, but uh, I'm the one here with a tube television, so I think I'm the real winner. Probably not have it facing the bed. <laughs> Crawling scares you. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. It's uh, it's really cool actually how they crawl. Oh, I never named this guy. Let's um, throw Sage on here. It's a male this time too, Sage, so your luck. It's always fun when you have a little bit of skin in the game. Don't have any wood, huh? I guess that makes sense. I really need to um, get a mech chest in here because I can get an aggro hand and that fixes all of the issues. Nice thing with the mechanator start too is it snowballs pretty quick. Um, it does hit some checkpoints where it's like a little slower to progress, but I usually find it's one of the quickest starts. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and get an aggro hand. I think I might build another one of these too, just to speed it up even further. Yeah, see, a TV does sound kind of nice. And you know what? This might be a TV speed run. In fact, I think I might have just been the world first quickest TV speed run in RimWorld. Not even kidding. That was pretty quick. I don't know if someone was timing that, but that was likely in the top you know, 0.1% of speedruns for television uptime. So, uh, there you guys go. You just witnessed history today, actually. What's more expensive, tile or carpet? Um, I'm not sure. I think it probably is tile. Um... Well, no, it'd probably be carpet. Yeah, guys, carpet requires more cloth to make, right? Oh boy, they left me a gift. <laughs> they refunded me some of my silver. That's why I talk about a bargain. That was a 300 silver TV. <laughs> Thanks, merchant. Yeah, I'm honored to be the first uh, television speedrunner. <laughs> it was a, it's been a lifelong goal of mine for a long time, and... I think that was a sub five minute run first TV, so uh, it's going to be a while before someone beats that one. Uh, we really got to get this TV watchable though right now. It's uh, just kind of sad. And let's get um, another Agra handout. Well, hmm, yeah, whatever, fuck it. Never said what the tile's made of. Well, I think he's talking about like sandstone or stone. Unless he's talking about silver or gold, but that would be pretty obviously the strongest. This is great. There's just this weird spooky monolith and my guy is just going to watch some TV beside it. Uh, I don't have enough to charge it as well. Hmm. Interesting. In the new start, the monolith starts automatically. Well, that makes sense. Especially since uh, it destroys your ship and mutates your crew, um, it's starting automatically does check out. Uh, 
Talking basic carpet, basic tiles are more expensive. Interesting, but I think when you sell or buy stone tiles, they're actually um, a little bit cheaper. Are they not? Yeah, I looked at the wrong one. I figured that, Sage, because when you go to a trader and buy and sell tile, it's like dirt cheap. Whereas cloth at least costs like a little bit. 12 silver for carpet, 8 for the normal. Hmm. So normal tile is pretty much always superior, where it's quicker to do carpet, but normal tile is not flammable and it's uh, cheaper from a threat standpoint. Interesting to note. We're going to get these uh, two aggro hands up and then we're going to activate the monolith here to get the new goodness going. Um, we really just got to get something that can cut wood and this guy is uh, useless at plant cutting. Pretty good at mining though and uh, research which was what we were looking for. Um, granted if I get any disease I'm dead. So that's not great. And I have a bunch of scars. Oh but I like scars don't I? The pain cleanses me. I like it. Interesting. Yes, and an auto cleaner. That's uh, another good point. Now, it's funny because when Biotech came out, clean sweepers were actually locked behind tier, tier 2. And that's something that changed. Um, I'm not sure. Some way halfway through it, I think. But they are no longer tier 2. And uh, you can get clean sweepers right away unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, right there. So it's an interesting change. I wonder what it would be like something to Diabolus when there's an anomaly threat going on. Kind of like a weird mismatch. Oh, I should um, mine. Oh, I don't need to select them all. Look at this, boys. Mine vein. Oh, that is satisfying. And let's do the same here. Let's just uh, crank up the production here. I don't need to go slow at all. I want to get the everything again built ASAP. Looks like we got Blad029. Welcome. If you're looking for quality gameplay, you're in the wrong place. I would suggest Adam vs. Everything. This is uh, our second attempt and we are likely to uh, die very soon again. You never went further in a week as a Mechanator. Why do you think that is, Sage? It's actually like uh, one of the strongest starts by far. It's crazy how much it can start to skyrocket if you're in a tile with lots of uh, steel and you have mining. Alright, I'm surprised the lifter can't refill the generator. Seems a little bit counterintuitive, but alright. Oh my god, I need those aggro hands bad. You're a tribal person. You know, tribal was my favorite for my first thousand hours. Um, I really, really like tribal, but it just sucks when you get to mid late game and every th research is just twice as long. It's just so painful. Like that's the nice part with normal standard runs is very least you have research late game and mid like you can kind of get to those checkpoints without just waiting. Adam versus everything is too efficient. You need some autism. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. Plenty of autism and uh, inefficient plays here. So, we uh, although although we just sped run the quickest TV in RimWorld. All right, I don't think there's a single other streamer or YouTuber out there on this whole platform that on a day one of expansion sped run a tube television. So you tell me if that's autistic. We are so close to those being done, and Sage is still sleeping on the floor. Whatever, if he breaks, it's not even that big of a deal right now. Um, I am a little bit worried that these guys run out of juice. Should be fine. And how many mechs do I get right away again? It is nine, and nine's plenty. I could start making structures out of steel too, but I really don't want to because the second these aggro hands are up. Now, it's annoying because I don't think you can make a crafter until tier 2 or 3. 
Yeah, you can't, but... It's alright. Why not make the bed out of steel? Because I don't want to waste any. I know, like, it doesn't feel like it, because I have so much and I could mine, but... You really eat through steel when you play a Mechanator. You're gonna see, like, uh, once I start getting some of these out, this is gonna be really, really aggressive scaling. See, the thing with um, biotech people don't realize is if you're in a map with a lot of steel, you can just start pumping out band nodes. While it's inefficient in a lot of ways, uh, you can get a really large mech force at like level one, essentially. Rush down a lot of the threats and uh, then you're off to the races. Use this 200 watts for my TV? That is absurd. Oh my god, I need one fifth of a generator for this shitty tube television. What's the most important skill for a Mechanator start? The, uh, the Mechanator start is interesting, so... You don't need mining, but it's immensely beneficial. So, let me elaborate a bit more. You can get the mining robot, which is a tier 2 mech. And it's really easy to clear the tier 1 boss with just mechs, so it, that's not an issue. But to get rolling, you need to mine a lot. So, having mining skill is super, super useful. Something else you're looking for is always going to be intellectual. Intellectual is massive. Social can be useful if you want to recruit people. The problem is every mechanator always starts as a recluse. So you're kind of drawn towards more small colonies. Medical is obviously a top tier. Uh, I'm just listing all of them off at this point. So I'd say the number one most important is for me would typically be mining because I like to scale up. Then intellectual and probably medical. You could argue medical is important too, but you can get medical mechs. Um, for the level 1 or the first tier of mechs, don't bother ever with construction. It's just, it's not necessary. You don't need to worry about plants either. Um, and cooking, I usually just make um, a nutrient paste, so I don't really care too much about it. But if you're worried about the mood penalty, you can look for cooking. It's not really worth your time when you only have one or two pawns, in my opinion. So... Um, I need to get a waste dump site, I just realized. Let's um, start polluting somewhere. Mm. We do want to put it maybe inside a small building, so we'll go like that for now. Clear all, and then just put the toxic waste pack. Important. Perfect. Merchant, I actually disagree. I don't think you need in, uh, construction at all when you're doing a solo Mechanator start. Um, Constructoids pretty much do it all, and they don't make like crazy good looking stuff. But look, it's like a good quality bed. You'll get a pour sometimes or normal. So it's just consistent. They spam it out quickly. Uh, they do a good enough job in my mind. Let's get another Constructoid going. And uh, now that we have the Agra handout, let's uh, really start to juice this. So this is when we're going to start to expand quite a bit. Close these off before I forget. Yeah, that's a fair point. It's annoying how you can't select wood when you don't have any in your base. You have to go like this and hit build copy. Um, I don't know why he did that. Maybe to prevent you from doing it when you had no materials. I don't know if that's a toggle, but it annoys me quite a bit. Beautiful. There's the second one. All right. So now let's actually really crank up our production. We got another power there. We're going to have plenty of wood. And um, you might need to start doing a subcore encoder too. See, here's the thing. We have no problems at all with steel right now since we're not using it for anything but only for uh, ramping up our structures. So we can just spam it on these and really get that exponential growth. Another constructor would be nice, though. And then let's get... Clean sweepers, all right. Um, I don't know, honestly, maybe another agri hand. Eh. We'll do Militor as well. We'll do a clean sweeper. Let's get at least one. Perfect. Let's now stop doing anything that requires thinking. Uh, well, you can do handle, maybe. Mine, definitely not. You're never going to want to craft. You're useless. And then we'll do art. Oh, and dark study is going to be number one there. Let's take off hall. 
And, uh, perfect. Raptor says, doors are not safe. What do you mean by doors are not safe? Can you elaborate on that a little bit? I ever key one up here? Not assigned to smithing. Oh, right. Silly. Do the invisible guys trigger IEDs? Yeah, that's an interesting question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're actually invisible and material on the map. I guess since there's a detector, it'd have to be. It's not just like a pop in, so I would assume that they would trigger IEDs unless someone wants to correct me. That sounds about right. Um, let's hop in the subcode scanner. I know this is going to kind of suck a little bit, but we need to uh, get as many of these as possible right now. Once we get a prisoner, we can uh, use them to, to juice our scanner. Let's maybe not do a straight square here. Go something like that. I don't know. Is this just autism? <laughs> it's so beautiful, the base design. You know, this might look like it's gibberish, but this is actually a very well thought out base with um, full optimization and lots of efficiencies and <laughs> how it is. It actually doesn't get any more optimized than this layout right here. This is the, uh, the honeycomb. All right, and we'll put a kill box somewhere in here. We'll do it right there. And my tree is marked for cut down. Um, yeah, I don't really want to deal with the mood penalty. Good catch. Did we just go like that? Maybe. Well, kind of messed it up. Yeah, I should have just done it one back, honestly. Let's go like that. Nice and simple. Oops. Perfect. And we can get some more guys going. Let's get a Militor. I don't love the Militors, but it'll do. And maybe we want some light in here too, actually. Let's get a wall lamp. I don't know about you guys, but I use the wall lamp expansion or uh, expansion mod all the time. And super thrilled as part of the base game, but. Big shout out to that guy for single-handedly making one of the most useful mods. It is so annoying sometimes. And you know, not even just annoying space-wise, but aesthetically. When you had to put like a lamp down in the middle, when, you know, your pawn could clearly stick it to a wall. Especially with a light. Like, it's very rare that you have a lamp standing in the middle of the room um, for every single room. It's nice when you can just put it on the wall, so... Good change, and uh, honestly, a lot of the changes 1.5 are pretty good. Oh, looks like we're running out of power. This guy's trying to get some. I really like the crawling one. I haven't seen it too much, but from what I have seen, it adds a lot of depth to the game. And we're just going to keep mining out here and keep expanding.
So I'm not really trying to be too efficient. Oh my god, I'm going to die if we don't finish this um, from heat stroke. Oh no, I might actually already be screwed. I didn't even uh, check the temperature. It's 47 Celsius outside. I'm probably going to start getting heat stroke pretty quickly here. Um, maybe we want to just do some passive coolers as well. Oh, that's the problem. My one constructor. Yeah, I only have one right now. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, as we scale up, that won't be an issue. Uh, maybe I go for three constructoids as like a backup. Yeah. I'm going to get a passive cooler. Actually, let's just do the normal cooler. I'm actually shocked I don't have heat stroke yet. Um, oh, wow. I'm actually good to 49 Celsius. So this isn't a rush at all. I can actually just kind of ignore it. Interesting, interesting. It must be the uh, synth thread duster that I have on. Um, mech near your start, you get a little extra gear, so that actually saved me. Um, we are probably going to want another mech recharger. Let's get one down there. I saw a Reddit thread recently where you actually can use the hidden conduits. Um, only and there's no zert chance which was interesting to see or is chance Hey bone king He stroke starts at 10 celsius above that. Oh, that's good to know Let's get uh, the clean sweeper out and then let's make another constructoid You know, I know the Ancient Danger destroyed us last time, but maybe this time it wouldn't. You know? Especially if I have all these mechs. It's tempting. Looks like our guy's pretty happy that he slept on his stone. Um, hungry. Should have plenty of meals. And um, doesn't like being outdoors. Aside from that, it's not too bad. Recluse alone helps a ton and then uh, all these traits based on the ideology, so we're probably not gonna have any mental breaks for a while Get some IEDs going. Can you make IEDs right out the gate? No, it doesn't look like you can um, I don't think I've cut enough wood it's crazy how much wood I need to cut here. Well, maybe that's too much Yeah, that's probably a lot of wood Let's do an art bench, right, because I have zero wood. Uh, I think we have two constructoids now, so yep, two constructoids, two agri hands, one clean sweeper, one lifter, so let's uh, get some more going. Google is an inbred version of the waster. Yeah, fair enough. Let's uh, let's do an aggro hand. Oh, basic subcore. Do I still have sickness? I don't. Beautiful. And get some band nodes going too. Five should be enough. How long is that uh, sickness start? Summer, yeah, whatever. Interesting, it's already over it. Oh, it's a different, it's not the sickness, right? Subcord encoder doesn't matter. Oh, uh, all right, that makes a lot of sense. Let's um, crank up a few more of those. Maybe we'll start to get some uh, some rice going. We'd probably put in a rich soil if we wanted to, but we don't even need to. And uh, we'll do a big patch of... a uh, nice long patch of Tinctoria. It's always fun to color your, your base. This will be the uh, eel cotton. And then, of course, we need some... Obviously... 
Psychite. Perfect. A very optimal, beautiful looking base so far. It's interesting the slab beds give them a bit of a mood buff. That's actually really good. The fact that you just get two, uh, two mood permanently for sleeping on a slab bed. And it's not like there's any downside there too. So that's a really, really nice little mental buff. We do need to get that cooler in there soon. And maybe we'll throw some passive coolers in between these. Alright, we're starting to fly. This is going uh, much better than the last one. And look at that, the TV Meta. His recreation is flying. That thing's insane. Look at that. Oh, it's only 120% recreation power. What's, um, maybe it's not flying. What's a, a wooden horseshoe pin you guys think? 100%. All right, so the TV is only 20% quicker, but it looks quicker. Let's drop this down, stop some pollution. Should be able to keep it low enough to slow down that. Um, yeah, that's awkward. It's not actually as useful as I thought the TV, but they're not going to complain about recreation variety for a while. So there's that. Let's um, also knock down this wall and then throw up. Uh, actually, maybe not that wall. I want to put a, a feeding area in here. That'd be three, one, hmm. I do three, one right here. That works. So fun fact, the chair actually can be used even if it's not facing the right way. Learned this just recently. So I can actually have the chair facing a TV, but it also functions for that table. Let's do a freezer right there. And then I'm using a lot of wood and that might not seem ideal. And that's because it's not ideal. <laughs> so it's all right. Uh, it's only gonna bite us once it bites us. See, the thing is I don't have a good crafter and it take way too long to craft all this. So I'm kind of just going for broke right now. Yeah, the books are pretty neat, you're right. Yeah, the obelisk is right here, uh, Bone King. We're just uh, getting a robot army a little bit bigger before we uh, activate it. Oh, I should get another Militor going. Not enough bandwidth. Um, nine out of nine. Do I need to link this? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Should be linked now. And I should be able to make it. We need some more components. Looks like we have... Oh, we're actually going through our steel pretty quickly. Well, I have the generators inside. The coolers make a ton of heat. You, you know, that's an excellent question. Um, you're asking the wrong person. See, uh, X or S, let me explain something. I've had a few beers tonight. Um... My YouTube channel's tiny, and I don't rely on it for income. So you're not going to be seeing optimal plays here. You're just going to be seeing a gentleman having fun playing the new expansion with some of the some of the boys. If you want to see optimal gameplay where you don't put uh, your wood fire generators inside your stockpile, probably want to look at Adam vs. Everything. Mentioned him earlier. Really cool guy. He optimizes everything perfectly. I kind of just uh, kind of just wing it a little bit. I know like nothing about this DLC is why I didn't watch you play it first. Thanks, Bone King. Well, it's always lovely to see you, my man. Um, yeah, I'm going to start this monolith real soon. Heard a little bit about it, read a little bit about it, but haven't got my hands too deep on it yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing the new threats that are upon us. Now, 
So after the last, uh, my first attempt on this stream went horribly wrong. Um, I'm going to just make sure I get a few robots up before I start that. No, all good, S. <laughs> just letting you know. Oh shit, hey Kenshin. Been a minute. Right now we are, we have the monolith here, so Kenshin, I don't know if you played the new expansion yet, but this is where everything happens. Um, and uh, essentially we are going to investigate it soon because the first time we did that right away, it did not end well. I think I need another power one. Let's, we'll put this one. God, my base is so flammable. It's really scaring me. Let's throw this one up right here. All right. This is a, such an ugly looking base. <laughs> like, what is this field of Tinctoria? <laughs> what kind of design is that? Oh, God, I really hope that fire doesn't come anywhere closer. Let's just go maybe like, can our robot save us in time? A lot more steel around here too, I'm pretty sure, so. Anma died, a psychic scream. Oh, right. Yeah, whoops. You haven't played yet. Yeah, so far it looks interesting. Um, some invisible guys and a bunch of uh, monsters popped out of a hole and killed me, so. Uh, yeah, this fire is definitely going to hit me. Alright, we gotta get Sage moving. Ooh, you know what? I could try to capture the visitors. I have enough robots, I think I could. Does Sage good at converting though? I don't know if I got social. Mm, social 5's not the worst. I just put them all in this hole. Alright, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in chat. Should I capture the visitors uh, that are here to trade and try to convert them? Oh, or I could turn them into slaves. Uh, let me know if you want me to. If you do, I will mob them with these robots. I think it will be successful. Not 100% sure. Oh yeah, this fire is quickly out of control. You think it would be hard. Neither is the sage way. You would wait. But look, this guy just isolated himself in the middle of my robot fortress. Slavery. I probably shouldn't do this with the fire raging here, but slavery does sound pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, worm. You came in the wrong... Oh, no. Don't let him go. There we go. Perfect. We just need to down him. Here, let's get Sage out of here because he can't tend his uh, own wounds. Beautiful. Oh, are they attacking? Oh boy. Wait, Worm's trying to crawl away right now. All right, all right, Sage, run. This is fine. This is completely fine, actually. Three runs tonight, is it? No, dude, look at this. This is uh, this is going to work out great. In fact, Sage is kind of scaring him off right now. All right, can you capture him already? And he is really crawling. Oh, there we go, there we go. No, 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 stop. Okay, we're good, we're good. He's crawling again? Oh my god. This guy is taking a beating. Oh, okay, I think we're good. The prisoners. He's up again. Stop crawling. 
Just give up. Oh no, the base is starting to catch fire. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Alright. This is this is the one. Now I can capture, right? Why aren't these for prisoners? Oh oh it's uh enclosed spaces must be set. Alright, well I have a bigger issue right now actually. My base is about to burn down. Oh boy. Well, the clean sweeper is keeping everything uh, nice and tidy on the bright side. Normally there's a rain event when this is happening. Um, there is definitely no rain event currently. <laughs> oh no, the wooden isn't working out anymore. <laughs> Not like this. And he died too. Oh no, food binge. Oh boys. No. <laughs> we just started again. Alright, well, there's still time for a rain event. This isn't doomed yet. Uh, it's not GG yet. It's not GG. I have faith. Alright. Our materials are starting to go. Um, this is not ideal right here, what's happening. Now, luckily, the silver can't burn. But all of our food can. The valiant constructoid trying to save the one wooden wall. He's doing it. He's out of pace in the fire. Oh, we lost our TV. Well, uh, the silver did in fact burn. Oh no, it's over here. Mad Red Fox. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. It's completely fine. Oh, Sage is back too. See, look at this. I still have all my robots. Probably a world record for burning the TV. <laughs> We have our work cut out for us to get back, but I'm not giving up. This isn't over, and you can't convince me this is over. It's just a little bumpy. Alright, let's hope it doesn't travel up here, because I do need wood at some point. I think we might lose this generator as well. Well, um, that's, um, that's definitely a start. 12 days in and I'm feeling like I've got a lot of progression. <laughs> Collapsing roof. <laughs> Oh, God. Alright, we're just gonna have to relocate. That's fine. This can't go on fire anymore. So we'll just, uh, we'll rebuild. Although all of the wood is now gone from our area. Oh, my God. I've never seen a forest fire, or in a long time, I haven't seen a forest fire that's been this bad with no rain.
Normally you get like a rain event or something. That's crazy. Hmm. Alright, we need to get wood. That's our biggest issue right now. So let's see if Sage can maybe stop the fires here. So if we can uh, keep this wood, that's going to help quite a bit. How is there no rain event? Yeah, I know. Normally there is a rain event, but... Oh, it's raining. Okay, it was late, but uh, we're still good. We're going to delay the Tinctoria. That's for sure. And uh, we're going to rebuild. Stronger than ever. With uh, wood still. So let's, um, we're going to need to sage the mine like crazy. We do have the catharsis for two days. So I think we can come back from this pretty quick, actually. Like, it definitely hurts. No doubt about that, but it's not irredeemable. The main issue here I'm going to run into is if my mechs start powering off. So I just need to get some recharges up first thing. Get a power generator and I'm back on. Also starving. Right, the food problem. Um, that's, uh, that's fine. We just go like this. Hit harvest. And then just let the aggro hands get it. See, easy peasy. Let's just not eat that. Get two here. Can you just like haul these? All right, whatever. Just go ahead and eat. I don't even care anymore. Get food poisoning for all I will care. All right, we still need some steel. Not set on the concrete wall anymore as everything flammable has burnt down. Um, I think the rain event normally is supposed to trigger after a certain period of time. But I'm not sure. Yeah, Sage saying determined by number of tiles. Hmm, interesting. Because that felt like that was uh, way too long. I don't know if uh, it's just me because my place burnt down, but that was uh, normally you get some rain before that. We'll uh, take this as an opportunity to redesign my base more efficient than ever. And we still have our trap corridor. Beautiful. And uh, we got that built. We're pretty much back. We'll go like this. Actually, you know what? We push this out a little bit. No one has a clear answer. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what uh, actually causes it. Alright, so I think I once saw a thing where Adam vs. Everything did this. You can like put a door down behind the cooler and then you just have it open and it drains heat always, even if there's a room here. I think that was how it worked. Oh yeah, we should really get these guys cutting wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw the cotton. You do not need to grow cotton right now. In fact, you don't need to grow any of that. We need our guys going ASAP on building. Um, let's look at the energy here. What we got. Agrahan 1 is almost down. Structoid 2. Yeah, we need to get that steel up. Alright, you could just mine a little bit. That would help. Let's just queue up a bunch of these. Do we have any components left? We do not. So we're going to need to find some components too. Okay. That was our food. Pretty awful. 
Brutal outdoors. Oh, he doesn't like being outside. I guess I could have dug into a mountain, but I did want to build around a monolith, so... Hey, Kenshin. Thanks for a dono. Appreciate it, man. It's good to see you, too. We should uh, play something soon. Maybe some hell divers. Hope the, uh, the wife and kid are both healthy and happy. Yeah, Bone King, I've always been kind of curious on the min-maxing elements to a degree as well. Um, but it's just also not how I play RimWorld. I really enjoy kind of like some of the sloppiness in some ways, and I enjoy like the, you know, personality uniqueness you can get with RimWorld with every single colony. And min-maxing kind of focuses in on the same strategy, so you lose a lot of that uniqueness. Um, so, you know, pros and cons to it. It is really neat, though, when you can take on the hardest difficulties uh, with ease because you know a lot of ways to maximize efficiency. Like, I've seen one where um, Adam vs. Everything always does, um, he does a mega base. This guy, you know, I've mentioned him a few times his channel, just watched him recently, but he always has everything in one kind of central pocket. Uh, and that seems to be the most efficient because you can just jam pack a bunch of art in there. So if you really wanted to be efficient, you would just have one gigantic square, get a bunch of sculptures, and essentially every single workshop's in there. Seems to be the best, uh, unless I'm mistaken. And I think it's because the barracks shares the same mood penalty with like the kitchen, workshop, all of that crap. Or dining room workshop. All right, and I've had enough without the anomaly stuff going. So the second I can get um, the recharging done, I am going to start some of those events. Oh, I guess I'm going to need some more mining components. Disturbing vision. Strangely drawn to the monolith. Yeah, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Now, I know what most of you would say that we're here since the start, but I am very tempted to check out what's inside here. What are the chances it's actually the same as last time? Probably pretty low, I would assume. You know, like they can't all be those giant flesh things. A lot of times, like three insects. I could probably take three insects. Ooh, someone's walking by. Would he make a useful slave? Oh, he's really strong. Hmm. <laughs> Third run. <laughs> Come on, man. It might not be. <laughs> Third run. <laughs> Let's, um... Get this guy back to the charger. Alright, we'll leave it for now, Sage. But it has potential. Okay, we must have some other mechs that are just lying around, not charged. We have to get this, uh, this one done. Missing steel. There's blight. Oh yeah, who cares? Gonna have my plants, Randy. I have worse issues right now. Everyone's out of power. I think we get three of these, we'll have enough. Perfect. I'd say we're almost back on our feet. We definitely get a food source, but the big forest fire only was a minor setback.
Find a way to last danger. Pomp seemed to have an invisible boy. Detector saw it. Yeah, I know. That was interesting. Transport pod crash. Oh, I do like that. Let's, uh... Oh, we don't even have a prison yet. Wait. Idea. Beautiful. There we go. Hostile, the Imperium. Yeah, whatever. We need a slave. So we need more wood. Oh no, we have tons of wood. Missing steel. We should have... Oh, he's going to dig already. Cool. Alright, well, we'll slowly work on this guy, I guess. Where's Warden? We still have some rice here, too, actually. Let's release that one. Oh, that's a clean sweeper. Not interested. What else is low? There must be an agrahand down here. Oh, perfect. Let's uh, carry him to recharger. I don't even know what killed some of these things. Was it the fire or the, the tribal raiders? Who knows? Um, what's the toxic buildup going to be here? Looks like he's kind of in the clear right now. What's powering this? Grid excess. Oh, is that connected somehow still? Hmm, interesting because they're hidden. So the fire didn't destroy my conduits. I didn't know. That's that's interesting. So they're fireproof. Hmm. That's pretty useful. Is this guy disconnected? This lifter? Oh, he was drafted. No. I wonder if any others are drafted. Disease infection. Not my guy, right? Yeah, it's this guy. Um, yeah, you're not going to make it, buddy. Sorry. Change of plans. Prisoner. Let's just execute him. Can we do it in like a fancy way? Where's ideology? Do we have like a public execution? Oh wait, it's obligation of blood. Organizer will give a speech to excite the crowd and cut the prisoner's throat. Once they're dead, start finishing. Heck yes. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, what the heck? Shit. All right. Wasn't on purpose. All right, let's try that again. You need a sacrifice. So, okay, person is downed. Oh, that's lame. Do you have any good gear? Hmm. Don't really care about either. Can't even do that, huh? I guess I should have just normally executed him. Well, that fixes that. Maybe the next prisoner. You know, I might be an optimist, but I think we're pretty much back to where we started before the forest fire destroyed everything. More visitors. Could these also be slaves? That's the question. What does he have on him? Ooh, a low shield pack. That could be pretty useful. Uh, this person's a wimp, too. They'd be easy to take down. Medical would be nice. Um, 
not really what I need. So I might just leave him. Although I do now have two enclosed prisoner places. Yeah, let's keep rebuilding first. You're not wrong, Sage. You're not wrong. There it is. Perfect timing. Now we have the food figured out. Let's uh, let's start the monolith. I need some more content. That's not just the uh, depressing mechanator falling down. Yeah, keep focusing. You're probably good on energy. We need to do some repairs soon. Ah, uh, perfect. Try to figure out who's, uh, I think this constructoid might be. Yeah, it's failing a lot, so it's probably wounded. That's what's happening here. Let's see if any of them aggro hand too, also. Okay. And then constructoid too. This might drain them with their battery. Yeah, it drained it completely. But uh, this will help quite a bit. I think that's why they were failing their tasks. Let's get some more doors down. So I need a holding platform, it's saying. I guess that's for the anomalies. Sage should probably be sleeping in here. So let's go for the void provocations again with the rituals. Get some lights in here. Okay, we got plenty of components. Um, we just need some more steel now. We can haul some of this. Essentially, I want to get um, Void Provocation unlocked. I'm almost there already, and once that's unlocked, I can start doing the rituals to summon more things. I've kind of recovered my force a little bit from that forest fire. Um, obviously, highly susceptible to another one, but I don't hate the spot I'm in. A little bit worried about the invisible cunts, but... That's uh, unavoidable to some extent, because I do need to leave the base to mine. 
Although I could set the Militors as a guard. I think you can do that, actually. Um, are you not able to? Hmm. Does anyone know if you can select the Militors to automatically guard a target? For some reason I thought you could, but maybe you can't. That might have been a mod. Oh, there we are. Escort. So you need to have more control groups to do so. Um, so actually, I can do that because I have two. So let's go Militor. Control group two. Let me just go group two and we go escort. Perfect. All right, everyone's recharging. Is anyone dead? See, that one is. I think that's the last of them, though. Make sure Dark Stay's Sightseer revealed. Um, Twisted Creatures appeared out of thin air. All right. Should be pretty easy to kill this, I think. Although I don't want to kill it because I want to contain it, right? So let's go there and then capture. Beautiful. And I think I'm set to medical one. I'm not sure if I need to tend it or not, but I guess we'll find out in a second. I need repair that constructoid too. Tending, yep, I do need to tend it. Makes sense because they probably can die. And then once that's done, let's find the wounded one. And we'll go repair. Mm. Music's kind of cool. Very eerie. I think we'll probably do a gestator and try to get our mechs back online. Um, we have one subcore encoder. It's not the biggest priority. Psychic drone, that's fine. Not really an issue. It changes looks after you um, channel with it too. That's pretty cool. So we look at the codex, I saw this already. Uh, there's essentially three tiers. There's a basic, advanced, and ultimate. I believe you have to unlock all eight of these tiers to move into the advanced threats. With that being said, I think the advanced threats can attack you uh, before you enter this tier as well, because Raptor had some issue with that earlier. So the second level threats are definitely significantly harder to deal with do require more maybe of a mid-game force but i think the first tier ones are pretty simple like the uh spooky invisible guy who was really easy to kill um a quest needs help sure yeah i need i could use uh definitely use some more help i'm um, sure name them not too uh, important and let's go like that um, we don't have any food in our nutrient paste. And I am uh, malnutrition severe. Hmm. Uh, what are my aggro hands doing? Holy. Are they just doing nothing? He is out of power. Oh, yikes. And uh, this one's cutting some trees. So, not the greatest. Um, but, but I have help now. Um, tantrum. Alright. 
Why not the new scenario? Uh, we did it earlier, Yuchis. We uh, did it successfully. We beat the game on a new one. If you just watch the start of the stream, you'll see uh, it was crazy. It was, it was very powerful. This guy doesn't have any weird things like a wood foot. Hmm. All right. Oh. Oh, God. Really? That's the most effective door I came up with? Holy shit. Um, that's not good. Oh, the aggro hand's doing its job now, so that's good. Could be, uh, could be worse. Could be better. Well, and see, you cheese. Right now, we're trying to determine: is the this and filled with bad guys, and how many? Because if it's just a few insects, I could easily take it on. But we're not sure right now. Uh, we opened one in the last playthrough, and uh, a massive amount of these new flesh beasts popped out. I was not expecting that level of a threat from an ancient danger. It did have a Zeus hammer in it, though, so. I guess risk reward. Also, the no longer works where you destroyed a corner and you can peer in, so I can't really look in ahead of time. I could maybe build a door and run, but the flesh beasts will uh, easily just bulldoze through. Oh, nice, we got it. All right, um, I don't really care as much for do this. Maybe the uh, containment. I am on do, 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 gameplay. Randy random losing is fun. It is my favorite difficulty to play by far. Okay, I could probably focus now on more mining. Although we can do a research actually or a ritual. Let's do a ritual. Might be fun. So you just essentially do this and they can get a shock and it might summon some stuff. All right. Not too bad. We do need to get this food situation sorted though pretty quick. Let's do some more harvest orders. Um, we could also just kill an animal. I think we have the AC on now, right? Oh, this was already on. It just wasn't doing its job well. And you can't even enter the storeroom right now. <laughs> oh my god. What am I smoking? There we go. Oh, beautiful. We actually can load it now. I think we can deal with any threat that comes, so we're just going to go ahead and call the uh, next one. Let's use the other guy, though, to be the chanter. Oh, has to be a faction member. Oh, well. What's up with the base design? 
Um, well, Raptor, were you here when the first base burned down? It'd be easier to explain if you were. Nice. No uh, bad effect. I guess we'll get to see what's going to come for us next now. I wonder. Flesh beasts, perhaps? McCarthy's not happy. Uncovered groin chest. A ghoul is attacking. Alright. Where are you, buddy? Is it, is it quick? It's like a normal dude. Oh, I had one of these in my last colony. Yeah, it did nothing. I'm not worried about a ghoul whatsoever. Yeah, you're done, buddy. Way too many robots. Can you repair any of them? Did none take any damage? Alright, so ghouls really aren't that great, to be honest. Uh, it didn't even hit a single robot during that fight. Would've been nice to capture it, but... Uh, you were here. Yes, it's the same base. Yeah, so now you understand. See, that's why it's easy to explain. You understand the efficiency. See how quick it was to rebuild it? That was like only, <laughs> only around eight days. That's how efficient it is. And a lot of the terrain's been burned. So I'm more fire resistant now. You guys checkmate. So I summoned one. Do I have to wait now? Is there any other way that I can call down more um, more void guys? Or do I have to wait for that cooldown to be done? Like, that's fine. I can just build up some robots. But even though it looks like I'm not in a good spot, I think I'm actually in a perfectly fine spot to start progressing more. Like, we do need to get containment. Because um, I guess you need to hold stuff, but... Nothing else here that's like, I'm too much stuck behind. What about... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can summon anything here. What's the Void Sculpture do? Just makes it more efficient. Oh, ghoul infusion. Oh, it turns people into a ghoul. Never mind. I thought it summoned ghouls. Um, people are idle right now. No point in that. Let's uh, do some clear cutting. I get some more grass going too. You know, if you want to get the cow out, that's enough cotton. No reason to be idle ever right now. Um, let's go make a few more of these. How many mechs are we at? We can have another one mech. That's it. Cool. Alright, well. One of those. One summons zombies. That could be interesting. Looks like there's some ore there. And I'm going to need to dig out this crap hole a little bit. Although, or I just make some shelves. Look at that. That's a big brain play. Get some research going. Yeah, we could. I feel right now we need like more troops though. And we're not research gated on troops whatsoever. Um, can you not put sludge on here? 
Toxic waste pack. Wait. You can't do waste packs on shelves. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sage, why didn't you tell me that five minutes ago? <laughs> oh, no, they're exploding. <laughs> well, what's done is done. What we really need is some more components. I think I mined most of the easy to see ones. There's one. Some more way up top. Some ducks join. Oh my god, that's a lot of ducks. Do ducks need a pen? Not in a pen. I'm gonna make a pen. Let's do somewhere kind of protected. Like right next to the ancient danger. Perfect. All right, we got a lifter. That's big for the mission. And can we make any more? I think that was it. Oh, I'd have a constructor I need to repair. Yeah, they're a little annoying, but that's fine. There's actually a mod sage where you can um, recycle them. So it's like a little bit less micro intensive. Sad wander. Yeah, not bad. Do I have anyone with art? Um, actually, McCarthy to make art. Let's, uh, let's metagame it a little bit, huh? We're gonna have lots of wood. Let's just get some statues. I like a great wall here. Duck has started to roam away. Yeah, whatever. Prevent invisible dudes from getting me. Beautiful. This is peak efficiency. to herd these ducks, but I think Sage can. They can use doors? You kidding me? Huh. Crazy. How far are we off a ritual? Oh, it's obstructed now. That's fine, they're free to make. Ah, uh, two days, cool. A squirrel self-tamed. 
All right, a weird cast of characters. Holy shit, this music hits. Let's go. That was pretty good. I'll have to check out the full soundtrack of this later. Alright, do I have a recreation area? I threw a horseshoe pin somewhere, I think. Maybe not. Ten wood, no big deal. Okay, I think we're good with handling. I'll leave him on handling. Chopper from Sage, though. And uh, let's try to get some art. Honestly, we'll do a few wood sculptures. Wouldn't it be wise to despise of the dude chained up in your basement? Um, no, because you can study them. So see how my guys inspecting him. You get these like points that essentially act as research. And then you get to unlock new weapons and stuff because of it. It's kind of neat. So you actually want to have these guys in your basement. In fact, I want more of them in my basement. Um, I probably want a stronger basement though. So we're going to lock them up. So what I might do is I might just uh, mine inside a rock. So we could just do like a little maybe 8x8. Eight eight. Put four of those in there. This will be my monster uh, monster hut. Although that's right beside the pollution. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'll do it here. Yeah, this makes more sense. Let's do a little 8x8. Eight eight. Right there. Oh, that's... Fuck me. There we are. 8x8. Eight eight. Beautiful. Uh, the deserter. Oh, it's the uh, psychic powers. Of course. Welcome. What happened to a duck? Oh, it's a fox. You bastard. Alright, let's check this guy out. What do we get? Base liner, shootings, fine. Tough iron wield is nuts. We just got a random gift as well. Uh, Alright. And we're being attacked by... He has better shooting and he has an AR. Night owl... Eh, I think we actually might even just take it with him, but we'll use our mechs. Always efficient to use the mechs whenever you can. Sage, are you planning on uh, buying this one, you think? Oh, we're going up top, I guess. Oh god, McCarthy. Oh. Alright, nice. Yeah, we'll just have him uh, carry this mill tour. Easy. What do we lose? Some gold. And um, one of my guys died, I think. I think someone... I did see it. So let's do one of these bills and... No corpse. Hmm. 
Maybe I didn't have anyone die. Well, that'd be actually really, really efficient. Eventually, yeah, I would have done it already. Um, got exam. Yeah, I feel that. I have uh, some school I'm currently neglecting for this. But it'll always be there. Ooh, Psych IT. That's a gift. That's a, actually so nice. A no-catch Psych IT. Because what you can do now is you can go to um, Schedules. And, um, or not Schedules, Assign. Yeah. Manage Drug Policies. We just go Psych IT. And then one scheduled. We'll do every two days. I think you can do one every day, but you just really don't want to, um, get a psychite addiction. And we'll keep one in inventory and every two days only of mood, only recreation. Good. And that's the, oh, that's the no drug one. Let's do one that's just called drug policy five. That's fine. I kind of just fucked up my no drug policy. Whatever. Uh, this guy doesn't want to do drugs, so that's fine. We won't force him to have the tea. There's corpse trees. What do you mean? Corpse trees. Um, this is a burn stump. We do another ritual yet. Six hours. All right. Oh, this guy's not going to do anything. You should probably ingest those psychite. Oh, right. We need to go to a camp to get them, don't we? Where's the quest? Nearby outposts. Okay. I think there is supposed to be already marked in our map. How far is that? That's yeah, pretty easy. Let's just quickly run over there and grab it. Sage and Kakion. And we'll... Uh, honestly, we could just take them and a single Militor, probably. Maybe one Constructoid. That's plenty. And we don't have much food. Hmm. I think I need food before I go. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to starve to death in the road. Well, the rice is almost done. We can even pre-harvest a little bit. Oh, duck eggs as well. Right. Ribba. Yeah, they kind of fucked it up. It's really shame, too. Like, uh... They could have done a last expansion called, like, Mechanoids. Or, you know, something like that. It would have still had the rim. Uh, Anomaly would have been tough. They would have had to make this W. Um, what would be a good W name to start this expansion? Weird. Um, hmm. Wicked. Wondrous. Wonders. Ooh. Wonders, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Ritual for leaving. Yeah, I could do a ritual right now. I think it's uh, we're good to go. Let's do McCarthy this time. Oh, yeah, she can't lead it. Kata. Wanomaly. <laughs> Wank hurts. Wanomaly. <laughs> Those are all pretty good. I do like wankers as well. All right, let's see what this one summons. I had a feeling it was eventually going to take out someone. Good old anomaly. Let's do some more of these. Build up. Do I not have a third bed in here? What are my things doing? Mechs or any stuck recharging? No, no, they're all on. Hmm. Surprised they haven't made this bed yet. I guess I didn't give a cutting order. Mm. 
Shambler's approach. That's uh that's the threat. Three slow dudes. They will collapse within a day. I could capture one. I'm I'm really not too worried about this to be honest. I might just leave it. That's pretty far too. They might die by the time I get them back. How's the expansion feeling so far? Well, the first attempt I got at it was too impactful um, because I went all in and randomized all my variables. Um, this one, not as impactful, but that's because I got set back 20 days due to a forest fire destroying the base. This was all gone. Um, so, I don't know. I'd say it's pretty cool. Now, here's my question though. What's the replayability going to be like? Because this is really fun on the first playthrough, but the other expansions had really, really strong replayability, and unless there's more, this is a pretty limited tech tree. Like, some of them too are just kind of like powers. Like, it's not like you have to choose one kind of way to play. It looks like you can kind of just hit everything, and ideology and biotech gave such diversification and play at all stages uh, with immense replayability. So I'm a little bit worried this one is going to lack the replayability that we did see with the last two expansions. But time will tell. Uh, first play though, is it worth it? Uh, you know, I always think uh, supporting Tynan's a great idea and uh, it's fun. So far I'm having quite a bit of fun. But it's just new content at that point, so... I don't think it's required to enjoy RimWorld by any means. Also, it looks like I dropped the T on the ground. I wonder what happened there. Um, let's get someone to actually pick it up. Who's going to come back to base soon? Making large sculpture. You can, um... Oh, right, he can't haul it. It's annoying. Alright, let's get to haul it. And don't forget he wrote a book. Consider buying it. Right, right, I always forget he wrote a book. I have not read it. Uh, do you know what the book's about? Is it just like a science fiction sage? Mm, I want a new containment facility. Right, right, right. Here, we, Where are we building it? It's up here. Let's, um... I don't really want two gaps in between. Well, I could go like that. Yeah, that works. That's perfect, actually. And then maybe... Do we have Plasteel? We have Plasteel. I don't mind using 25 for a door. I'm um, designing games. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, honestly, he could release a DLC with horse armor and I'd probably buy it. Um, I've gotten just around 2,000 hours of RimWorld now. Um, it has been one of the most value games I've ever played. So, I, I love it. Highly recommend it. Although it'd be really interesting being a new player playing RimWorld because there's just so much to do and it'd be really easy to get overwhelmed, I bet. Okay, now let's move this guy over here. Beautiful. Hey, Destiny. So we need to wait another three days on the Psychic Ritual spot. You're at 1k hours, Sage. It's crazy how quick it can add up over the years too though. Like if you've been playing RimWorld since uh, beta, it really does start to pile up. I don't know why I'm throwing Tinctoria outside this door. I probably could shrink this. Um, How do you shrink the zone again? It used to be just a little shrink zone. Well, I guess that works.
Now here's the question. Do I want to make this fireproof or do I want to make this more fire potential? I think we need more. Let's all in on this. And don't say reload three, Sage. Hide in room. All right. Okay, so we can still now caravan to get the silings as well. So I probably finish up this project here. Wait till McCarthy's done, and uh, then we'll go and do that. Twelve thousand, you choose Raptor seven hundred. Yeah. It's crazy how quickly you can get hours in this game. Actually, we need to go change the layout a little bit. Because I want to put a butcher table in here as well. So I can't put one there, we'll go like that, that, and then we can put a light in the corner. Oh, I could just put a wall lamp, right? It doesn't matter anymore. Cool. That's going to be our kitchen. So let's go ahead and link these. So I'll go clear all food. And yeah, that's fine. Let's link these. Take off food. Easy peasy. I think we can get a few more mechs up here too. Low-key mental how you put those on shelves. How I put what? what are you referring to, Sage? Distress signal. Immediate assistance defending against the threat. Um, why do I feel I'm not ready for that one yet? That's pretty tempting though. All right, let's go check it out. What's the worst that could happen? I think I have food now too. Mm, if I don't have food, I'm not doing it. I have food. We'll do it. Let's take some extra rice in case things go bad. Some duck eggs, sure, why not? And then we'll take a bunch of my ones that have lots of power. 55, 55. Um, I could bring some ducks. No, that's fine. Do you start with mechnoids in this scenario? You do. You do indeed. You're always putting the shelves in a reasonable way. Oh, you mean like along the walls and stuff? It doesn't matter. They can climb over. <laughs> it just looks ugly. Oh, there's a ghoul attacking right as the left. Wait, I could just stop right now. Oh, Jesus. It's coming. All right. Uh, oh, I don't have a weapon on him. What the fuck is over its head? Adrenal heart. Holy shit, this thing's quick. Oh no. All right. It looks like um, we're going to capture the ghoul first. Change of plans, slightly. Um, is he gonna make it back? And there's some thrombos. This is not the anomaly start. So fun fact, Maximus, you can actually play any single start you want and the anomaly will always spawn. So there's always gonna be a void monolith on your map and you can start the event around that. Um, we actually did do the anomaly start earlier and it tailors your builds to kind of the anomaly, um, I guess. Uh, with that being said, 
uh, it did not go well. So we are now doing uh, Mechanator because I know Mechanator. And uh, yeah, transfer, probably should tend this guy. What happened essentially is we tried to open up an Ancient Danger and uh, it had a large amount of like, I think tier three flesh beast thingies. If you go back into VOD, you'll see it was uh, very quick. Now this one, we actually were right behind by quite a margin too. We uh, burnt down our house earlier, but we're kind of back in it now. So nothing too worrying. Oh, that's where all my wood's going. I'm making these sculptures. Forgot about that. I guess this is going to help though with mood, so. That's an awful sculpture. I think that's actually going to reduce the beauty. Uh, that's not good. I thought we had a good artist. She has seven. That's not bad. Surprise, such awful art. And we can do another ritual in two days. Yeah, so I think I will probably go check out that rescue call. Join offer. Yeah, you're in. Some random guys. No need to be a murder hobo. I really can't do much. Equip the weapon the deserter dropped. Um, right, right. Thanks, Sage. I completely forgot. Let's get another Militor going. We really need to get some more wood cut. Power is fine on all of them. Probably don't need any more of this. And I think we're good for rice for a little bit. Okay, let's get some sleeping bags and go back on that trek. Um, a relic is nearby. It's just like a, just a square. I'd rather do the anomaly stuff. So Sage, you said uh, you really didn't like the shelves, right? So I'm going to make sure I paint this really nicely for you. There we go. <laughs> this doesn't give you an aneurysm. I don't know what will. Make sure it makes no sense at all, too. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> yes, yeah, schizo style. <laughs> it's 
The anomaly. This is the cube. Expansion's making me do it. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, uninstall these. Can no one do it? <laughs> Death of Squirrel 1. Oh, that fox is still in here. This thing's been a pain in my side. There we go. Somewhat impressive barracks. It's peak efficiency here, boys. And do a little blue on this side. And then we'll leave uh, a gap with some wood. Finish up with a little pastel green, I think, right there. Gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> The new anomaly expansion hits differently. <laughs> the terrifying animals. Five man hunting cougars. 28 goodwill. Oh, easy. The Empire's gonna be begging to come by here after. Only is like six cougars. This is free money. Why is it slow? Are they attacking something? No, not yet. Okay. Let's just group up everything here. Is that all my mechs? Am I not missing some? Um, we need all hands on ship. All hands on deck. And oh, they killed a Militor. Why the fuck was he over there? Alright. Let's go like that, then we can pull them through. Perfect. Just like that. Kill a few cougars, no problem. I'm gonna clog up my doorway a little bit though, but... That's fine. Let's um carry this guy back. No, we can't. All right, we'll repair. And does he have the power? He, I think he has the power. Should be fine. And we just solved our food issue. Amazing. That's the kind of synergy that you expect to see. Yeah, they'll take it. We have anyone that can cook. Perfect, and he can't do anything else, so he has his task. I think it's time for a little more paint while we're uh, napping during the day. Get um. Oh, we already have an orange. What don't we have here? We don't really have a nice bright red. We we'll go like that, maybe. Can we paint these as well? No. 
Um, and then the storeroom, of course. Let's go for maybe a nice white. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Probably want to make a few more sub cores. You think a little gray there? I think that one's actually white. It looks gray, but see it says white. Cream is right beside it. The bottom ones are gray. Unless you're saying I should put a little gray there. I could do a little dark gray just for you. Oh, it looks like I'm out of uh, I'm out of dye for now, unfortunately. Um, quest complete. Oh, right. I just got 22 for them. From them, but I attacked their guy earlier, so it's negative 100. So they still don't like me, but I got a new weapon. A masterwork. Uh, spiker, I think it's called. Let's, uh, let's throw it on this guy. Nerve spiker. That's pretty cool. Let's check it out. All right. Um, shoots pretty quick. It is a short range, range weapon. Um, it's all right at medium, it looks like, but it's mainly short range. The damage is pretty good, although it's masterwork, so it makes sense. Um, armor prestation is actually not too bad. 20% is not bad. Um, cool. It's bad. Well, what about a masterwork one, though? It paralyzes them, too, right? 20 damage a shot? Yeah, alright, okay, fair. Guess it's not that high. Still, this one's pretty good, I think. Containment facilities working well. Make some more sculptures. I think the second it turns over, although it's eclipse right now, so this actually could be day. Let's do it. Let's form the caravan. We could do all three too. Um, and then we just only want the ones with power. Oh, they're all pretty low right now. Whatever. 42 is enough. And we have Tons of this. Nice. We'll take all the duck eggs and let's bump this to like 250. Two bed rolls. Any items we want to bring? Bring some toxic with us, I guess. Um, maybe a few tea. And uh, yeah, sure. Let's bring some waste packs. Why not? Good for finding unpaid interns. What the fuck, dude? What does that even mean? Imperial outpost you wanted to raid. Yeah, the one that was down to the south. Um, it was like somewhere around here, I think. That might have been a f smart thing to do first, but... It would give me a level 2 psychic power pretty quick. I think I'll survive it though. So far the threats have been pretty tame. Not too worried. Well, I had another mill tour ready to go. That sucks. We'll get there in no time. Uh, what's this one? Hunting work site. Let's get some pemmican if we run out of food.
All right. Oh, 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 fuck. What is that? A flesh sack. All right. So it's not a creature, I don't think. Um, all right. I remember seeing this, though, in the... Uh, the little releases they sent. So the flesh walls you can destroy. Some batteries there and uh, a few creatures looks like. Cool. I think this one will be pretty doable. Oh, and I'll get some research on locks too, which is nice. Uh, we can take these turrets home as well. This is perfect. No, I should... Whoa. Right, they blow up into stuff. Alright. I think this is fine. Alright, nice, nice. Keep moving up. Ambush. What? Where's the ambush? Emerging from a nearby pit. Oh, and they're attacking the turrets. Hmm. Close the holes. Okay. Closing the holes. Oh, that's going to take a while. Oh, there's a constructor down there too. Easy enough. Survival meals are nice. Um, there's some batteries up there. I could actually connect them to the turrets. And then I would have some defenses as well here. That's probably the play. So I could just claim these. Let's have just let them walk around. Yeah, Sage, I agree. The soundtrack is so nice. Let me destroy this flesh sack. A little bit worried about something popping up, though. Let's go like this. Get some uh, quality audio time.
Why is McCarthy taking damage? Hypothermia. Oh shit, it's cold out. Um, that's not good. I'm gonna have to get back out of here too. I didn't take that into account. Hmm. All right. I should have left her. Gore Hulk Assault. A Haunted Knight. Oh, it's at the main base. The fuck? Haunted Knight. Man hunting rat. Really? You help from one rat? Um, this is bad for my main base. But, uh, oh well. Alright, I think maybe we just juice what we can to stop trying to stabilize. McCarthy, though, is gonna. Oh, she's gonna die if I don't stabilize. That weather, uh, really wrestles my jimmies. Construction botched. Amazing. Yeah, there is a flamethrower, actually. Um, in the research tab, if you go to. Firewright, uh, Biofirewright Weaponry right here to Hellcat Rifle and Incinerator. Looks, uh, super sick. I just, uh, that's a lot of research. So right now I'm just kind of exploring some of the random, uh, quirks with it. I wonder what's in that one. Okay, so I think I can just start blasting to get through. Let's just go hit these orbs. Thank God. It's able to make the torch. That should help stabilize the room. It's only going to get colder here too, so I need to actually get in and out. Uh, this just drops twisted meat. Alright, that's not too useful to me. Let's um, uninstall these batteries. I kind of want to claim them. Oh my God. The music is like intense. What is going on? Terrifying hallucinations. Oh. Hmm. I think we've already got all this area, but let's, uh, can we leave the map with McCarthy mental breaking? I don't think so. So we might have to wait that out. Kind of curious what's in here anyways. Um, let's go check out our main base and see what's happening. Oh my God. I think they held it off. Maybe. They're doing better at the main base. I'm not even there. They break in through the north wall. Oh, it's back up. They're tag teaming it. It's down again. I wonder where they broke in from. I don't see an entry point. Maybe they can just hop over the walls. Area revealed. Oh, cool. So on the other one. Oh my god, it's just a fucking bedroom. Okay, has he done his break yet? This is brutal. Yeah, they're kind of holding on right now. The clean sweeper's up next. Can it get out of this? 
That's the question. If he runs inside, it's going to bait them in. No. I think the Gorhulk is scared of it. Is it going to attack? No, it's a peaceful creature. Interesting. So now what's it do? Is it trying to free its friends? Kill my ducks? Is it actually just going to walk through it? Oh my god. So close. It's going for the ducks. Oh. Alright. A strong wooden wall. Where does he go now? That door is held open. <laughs> What's the point in this? Oh shit, I should um... We can just use these beds. That's nah, too much effort. What are you doing? Oh no, don't break through this wall. Go through that long hallway. This is madness. Alright, McCarthy really has to stop breaking here. Um, what do you mean by calling this too? I wonder if I could trade some of my clothing to one of these guys so she could wear it. This guy's barely on the verge. Hmm. McCarthy doesn't have pants. Why don't I give her some pants? No, I can't give it to him right now. Alright, Sage, put your pack pants back on. A restaurant getting a move? Yeah, I know. Um, that might be the call, but she's going to need to heat up, which is going to be annoying. And it's also, it's been so long. Must be almost done. Done. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. That was um, awful. I don't think we got much from that. I think we missed part of it. We're probably supposed to destroy the walls, but we just don't have the gear for it. And winter is approaching. Which is uh, annoying. I'm starting a caravan from the wrong place. Send caravan. Accept. People and animals. Why are there ducks with me? What? Oh, those eggs must have hatched. Huh. No, isn't this my base? This is my base. Why is it trying to... It's giving me the wrong... Um, the wrong screen. Night, dude. Hmm. I don't know. Speaking of which, gentlemen, I think I am going to call it here for a night as well. Um, this was just kind of a one-off fun stream. Thank you everyone for uh, coming out and chilling with me. Uh, expansion, so far thoughts, I think it's really cool. Um, is it revolutionary? Probably not. But I think you'll get your bang for your buck, especially at the price point of uh, your local currency, whatever that is. But mine's about 30 bucks CAD, which, uh, you know, is the price of a meal out two meals out maybe so that's it those are my thoughts have a good night and uh looking forward to playing more of this and uh chatting with more of you in the discord if you're not on the discord and you want to join link is in the description peace